Tower, Beaver, Niner Lima, Bravo, estimating 9 east, uh, 900 feet. Beaver, Niner Lima, Bravo, Sanford Tower, say west. Yes, uh, we'll drop down to 500 or below uh, Lake Monroe, a uh, local area. Beaver, Niner Lima, Bravo, Roger, proceed to Adder below 500 feet. Adder below 500 for Lake Monroe, Niner Lima, Bravo. I'm guessing a beaver is a seaplane, I would assume. Beaver? Over, a beaver, yeah, over Lake Monroe, I would guess. Seaplane. So it's the 650, runway 9 right, clear for the option. 9 right, clear for the option, 650. No one else is tackling the, the crosswind landings today, huh? We're the only ones that are <laughs> brave enough, <laughs> bold enough. <laughs> well, uh, Roman's here. Do you, I don't know if you met Roman, another instructor here, but... They did a they did a bunch of landings and I guess they're going to Tampa for lunch. I'm like nice. Flying to flying to Tampa. Tampa to lunch. Landings. I'm like okay. Yeah, Hundred dollar hamburger. Yeah, right? that's seriously. They call it. I think more of, more of that nowadays. On the Monroe, requesting close traffic. All right. Bucky three eleven Roger overfly runway one eight maintain one thousand five hundred expect to write that one runway down right. Overfly 1A at 1,500 and expect uh, right downwind for... And let's keep doing flaps eight. 20 for now with Bucky this wind factor. Silver Tower, Bucky 545, uh, inbound uh, Jessup, requesting close traffic. Bucky 545, Sanford Tower, join the right downwind, runway 9 right, do you send pilot's discretion? Right, join the uh, right downwind for runway 9 or right, uh, Bucky 545. Anticipating that headwind, going to be pushing directly at us, trying to slow us down. A little bump, good. You can feel that drag when the flaps come down too, huh? Yeah. Good. Keep it all the same. Hold a little extra power till pretty much the last second. Expect the squirreliness over the lake and expect that wind to be pushing us across. There it is. Good. Uh, Bucky 311, I've got a new plan for you. Uh, join the left base runway, Niner. Good, right, good from aileron. Your present position and uh, descend about discretion. There you left go. Runway's established. Right, Power comes to idle. Discussion. Bucky 311. Hold it. Oh, There's the gust, that's all right. And just hold it. Power's idle, good. Oh, that was nice. That was beautiful. That's nice. Get her down. Let's do carb off, flaps up. Gus, keep that left air on, powerful. Well done. 55, rotate. Money. That was great, well done. Thank you. It's not easy landings. With that win, it's really not. A lot of work. <laughs> yeah, you really got to work for it, huh? That's the 650, turn right crosswind. Turning right crosswind, 9-6-7-5-0. No, 9-7-6-5-0. <laughs> what is it? Bucky 311, you're number one runway, Nader, right? Yeah, you, turn, you can turn right. Take right, right traffic, 0-9 right. <laughs> right, cleared for the I think I, I, think I said 9-6-7-5-0. Sure. That's correct, if I saw if he laughed. Sure, one, A little less sure, big. Sure, 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 information, like to depart into the wind with a west-northwest turnout. I think it's a 967. Tier 1 is approved from the present position, and I'll have a turn for you. Keep that moment. climb. There you sure, go. one. I'm going to go eastbound. You'll have my turn. A little less bank right Ooh. there. Yeah, it's gussy. It's all right. Keep that climb. Pitch up. About 76 knots. There you go. 
Cessna 97650, extend downwind, I'll call your base. Trying to send you downwind, you call the base, 97650. Sheriff 1, northwest bound is approved, you can cross from way 9 or left to city 2. Sheriff 1, northwest approved, cross 9 or left, Sheriff 1. Uh, Gussie getting up. If you feel that plane starting to get a little slow and sloppy. 97650 traffic on the left base for your runway is a Cessna. Report the traffic in sight. Looking for traffic. Nine seven, ah, traffic in sight. 97650. 97650, number two, following Cessna. Runway 9 right, clear for the option. 9 right, clear for the option. Number two, 97650. They're good. He's on short final, so you can just fly it all the same. Okay. Yeah, if you feel that plane get a little slow and sloppy, bring those wings back to level and give it a gentle push back down. Get that airspeed. It's just windy though. You felt that wind just pushing. Yeah, it was uh, fighting you, huh? Yeah, it felt like. Um, Good car mix. Flaps. Bucky 545, you're number two now following us to traffic. Yeah, it just kind of felt like the down controls down weren't responding like they were supposed to. Right? Yep. yep. Those winds were trying to beat you. Don't let them beat I think we have them. Don't let them. Uh, that's for runway nine or right. Clear for the option. Bucky 545. Yeah, but on, on windy days like this, flaps 20. Sometimes even, you know what? Let's practice one, flaps 10. Let's just go flaps 10. Okay. <laughs> Beaver, 9 Lima Bravo, are you landing uh, in the Monroe? Uh, 9 Lima Bravo, just checking it out here. We'll keep you posted. Uh, yeah, we're here by the yeah, bridge. Uh, yeah, we'll probably touch down on St. John here. Beaver, yeah, he's talking about Monroe. Beaver, 9 Lima Bravo, Roger, if you decide to do that, just let me know landing shirt. Yes, sir. Good, yeah, just play with that power oh, set. Yeah, uh, Legion 2491, set for tower, runway, net or left, clear for takeoff. Not left, clear for takeoff, Legion 2491. Oh yeah, there it is. Yup. Allegiant 2491, slow runway heading, maintain 5,000 on departure. Alright, 5,000 Start slowing her down to about 80. Now you can pull some of that back out. Take quiet traffic, fuck the fuck the Good. Pay attention to those speeds a little fast, pull some power. I know you don't have the flaps to help you, so you gotta be just playing with that power more so on pitch. Yeah, I was expecting a flap to slow me down a little bit. Yep, and that's what they'll help with. I want you to feel it with just 10, too. Keep her coming down. It's okay to have some more speed. We can float it off and fight the wind. Yeah, I think I'm good. There you go. Good idle. Roger. Good. Bucky 311 traffic at the uh, midfield down when is the company Archer. Report that traffic. Left tail around just yep. a little. Oops. That's all right. Bucky 311, follow the Archer. Oh, too much. That's right. Follow the Archer, Bucky 311. Beautiful. Flaps up, carve out, powerful. I don't know why I don't know why it does that when we touch touch down it screams. I don't know Sheriff why it does that. Sheriff one leaving my airspace to the northwest. Service to Sheridan, squawk you or correcting squawk your street, street kid proof, yeah. Sheriff one Roger, we'll see you guys in a bit. My controls? Your controls. My controls. Let's talk about go arounds. And the procedure for a go around. So for whatever reason, if the runway is unsafe to land on or if you're coming in at an unsta you know, a, a not stabilized approach, you have the ability to make a go around. So I'm gonna set us up here. And I'm going to show you a scenario where you'd probably want to make a go around. Well, first thing, really windy day. If you're getting absolutely rocked and you're coming in all over the place, you're not maintaining center line, usually at about 400 to 300 AGL, that's when you really got to make that decision. Am I stabilized? Am I high, low, fast, slow? And can I make this landing safely? If not, you're going to want to make a go around decision. And I'll show you one of those. And you can feel, yeah, when we turn, when we turn crosswind, that wind's pushing me. So my airspeed should increase as the wind's pushing me. Sanford Tower, Niner, Lima, Bravo, safely on the water, St. John. Steve, Niner, Lima, Bravo, Roger, thanks. Appreciate your help, talk to you in an hour. That's cool, he landed on. 2491, contact Orlando, d yeah. I think the winds are being nice to me. I yeah, it doesn't seem as bumpy as it was. I didn't have all the squirreliness right there. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up to a thousand, pull some of that power out. 
And expecting the push from right to left. 311, are we good to cross to turn base? Expect 311, yep, uh, still following your true Roman Niner, right clear for the up. Nine right clear for the up. Yeah, that wind really, look at that crab I got to hold. Wow. To even get back over. I mean, Cessna I'm like... 97650, you're number two now, following Cessna traffic on the right base from my nine right, clear for the up. Nine right, clear for the option number two, traffic inside, 97650. <laughs> yeah, got it. So even I'm a little fast. That's the tower, lucky 545, we're going to be a full stop, 900, please. Want to get back to 1,000. Just let the plane come up on its own. And, you know, another good, good way... Uh, to practice go around, well, another real life a applicable situation of a go around would be really windy day, you know, you're not comfortable, and, but you want to go feel out what the winds are going to do at the surface. Maybe they don't even have like a weather reading, right? Maybe you're at like an untowered airport, middle right. of nowhere, and you just want to go get a feeling for the winds at, at you know, close to the surface. You want to see what it's going to do to your aircraft. So that's another way you can bring it in low, about two, three, four hundred feet. You got to make that decision, make a go around. But in this case, I'm just going to show you a scenario that would be good for a go-around. going to wait till it gets off my wing here. Pushing for 90, carve out, flaps 10, losing some altitude. Coming off the wing, one, two, three, turn base. Amber Tower, Scalia, 9 Bob Jet on the Monroe, 1500 uh, feet. Fifth Avenue, 629 Papa Juliet, Sanford Terra, continue. Pushing into that headwind, Monroe, more power is needed to fight it. If you'd like to do a West Coast traffic Wings on the right level, right. flaps 20. Juliet. Your 629 Papa Juliet, roger. I understand you'd like close traffic on 9 right. Uh, continue inbound for now. 49 Papa Juliet. Lucky 545, change to runway 9 or center, runway 9 or center, clear. Try and slow down actually so I can show you a go around without uh, clear to land getting in his way. I want him to take off and actually have some spacing in between us. Maybe he's doing a full stop, hopefully. No? Alright, so we're coming into land. This could be a really good example. I'm way too slow on my airspeed. I feel the plane starting to impede a stall. It's, more, it's going, eh, it's getting mad at me. I gotta push down, push some power and recover. But let's say for whatever reason, I'm on final and I'm all over the place. I cannot get a grip on it. I'm left, I'm right. The winds are just beating me up, coming down. You know, it comes to an extent where you got to make a decision, right? So we're about, what, 200 feet here? Right. 200 feet's a really good altitude to make a decision. Am I established? Am I high, low, fast, low? How's my speed? In this case, we're good. But for whatever reason, let's say we weren't good, there's the steps we're going to follow as the seas. First off, I'm just going to keep it low, so keep the spacing. But we're going to keep it coming down. And maybe, hey, maybe something comes up on the runway. Maybe there's another airplane. Maybe there's a gator. I don't know. Immediately, when I make that go-around decision, power comes full. So I cram. I begin to clean up the aircraft. Immediately, flaps come to 10. Leave it here. I start to clean out the aircraft. I communicate. Sanford Tower, Skyhack 97650 going around. I communicate. Gotcha. Above positive rate of 64 knots, I bring that last set of flaps out. So you don't, you, wow, that's really annoying. you don't immediately want to bring them all out at once because what happens if I was to bring all the flaps out, I want you to drop, exactly, yeah. and you'd smack. Yeah, so, <laughs> Yeah, and I remember uh, very well because it was one of my first flights. I just, for whatever reason. The top rear 629 here, Papa Juliet, maintain 1,500, overfly runway 18, expect the right downwind runway 9 right. For whatever reason, I right immediately tried to pull out all the flaps on a go around, and my instructor uh, smacked my hand, seconds. threw them back in, I took controls, and had to, you know, we were pretty low. We weren't, it was dangerous in the sense of like, I don't know what's going to happen here, but it was not good. He was not happy. I'm just going to let tower not over. Tower number 364 there, one that But yeah, so you're going to cram, you're going to clean up the aircraft. And you're going to communicate, and you know you're going to climb out. Three, six, four, zero, one. Sanford Tower, you caution personnel. So, we're working adjacent to the runway. At some points in our training, I'm going to throw a curveball at you. Fly heading. Then I'm going to say you're going to, you could be having the most, you know, your best approach, coming into land, no problem at all. And I'm going to make you do a go around to keep that on your mind because during your check ride, you're going to be asked to make a go around at some point. Okay. Bucky three eleven. Roger, change to runway nine center. Runway nine center, clear two lane. 
Alright, your okay. controls. My controls. Your controls. That makes sense. So, cram. Yep, I'm Bucky 311. You're actually never too far. Clean the aircraft. Three, four, communicate. Five. Looking for traffic, Bucky 311. Sounds like good uh, practice work for the sim. <laughs> yeah, 100%. I mean, it's just a flow. That's all it is. But today would be a very applicable situation where, or at thousand, 9, where a go around could be, could be given. And always make the decision to go around rather than force a landing. You can always try again. Traffic in sight, Becky 311. That's 97650, runway 9 right, clear for the option. 9 right, clear for the option, 97650. Bucky 545, contact ground, see ya. Contact ground, Bucky 545. Watch that speed, so bringing her back. I know it's hard. Even I was starting to get, I got to like 110 too, for a second. We follow on this guy? No, I think he's going center. So he already cleared us for a nine or right option. All right. So, should be good. You know, the only nice thing about this wind is that it's pretty, three, three, six, four, pretty zero, consistent one, at least. Zero, five, zero. Like it's five, holding five, the zero, same four, spot zero. at least, it's not moving around all over. So at least you can develop a habit with it. It gets difficult when it's continuously moving. Stanford Tower, good afternoon, Bucky 465, number one, nine center at Lima, ready to go. Bucky 4225, Stanford Tower, roger, hold short, Roman Center for landing traffic. Sure, 9 left, sorry, 9 Center, Bucky 467. Legion 9200, you may see Cessna traffic off your right side, landing the parallel runway. <laughs> I always think it's so funny when they tell Legion to look for a Cessna. <laughs> Just these airline guys are like, yeah, I'll look for the Skyhawk, I guess. It's funny. Tabria 9 or Papa Julia, maintain 1,500. Maintain 1,500 for you at 9, Papa Julia. Good, and we'll just keep doing flaps 20 for now with this wind. We'll go flaps 20, flaps 10. I want you to fill both settings. Learn to land it at all settings adjustments. I'm not going to do no flaps right now, but we're going to do a few of those too for practice. You're going to learn to land the plane in all configurations. Now, standard normal landing in a Cessna is flaps 30, but on a gusty day like this. Cyber 629, Papa Julia, decent pilot's discretion. Join the right down one runway 9 to right. Gear number two, following Cessna traffic to our final yeah. runway 9 to right. Clear for the option. Clear for the option, we'll follow the traffic on the final on uh, 9 Papa Julia down to uh, south speed. Bucky 311, exit left at Romeo. Left turn, uh, Charlie's block, then you can contact ground, see ya. Left at Romeo, and then ground, Bucky 311. Good. November 36401, contact our letter departure, see ya. Good. There's the aileron, good. Legion 2446 is ready. Uh, Legion 2446, that's okay. Yeah, runway 9 left, line up and wait. Alright, keep her coming left down. Runway 9 left, Legion 2446. Allegiant 9200, exit right when able, and contact ground, see ya. Beautiful. Get her down once you touch, bring her a little nose pressure, forward, carb out, flaps up. Go for it. Well done. Good job flowing in. Oh, I don't know why it does that. Allegiant 9200, and uh, make the next right on Bravo there as well. Well done. Good job floating it. Yep, just keep floating it. Now, obviously, if you float too far, you know, first third of the runway, I would say after that point, go around. Nine left, clear for takeoff, fly heading zero eight zero. Clear for takeoff, nine left, zero eight zero, Legion twenty eight four forty. But we have such a long runway, and you're getting it down before the first third. That it's good. <laughs> and getting gusted around right there. Bucky four six. Correction, Bucky 465, runway 9 center, clear for takeoff, fly heading 110. 
Time's going to clear for takeoff or flight 465. Or flight heading 110. That's the 97650, straight to right crosswind if you have it. Turning right crosswind, 2446, contact Orlando departure. Yeah. Good afternoon, only good 2446. I feel like I'm on a roller coaster. Just after you had nine, how would turn right across it? Hopefully you don't get a uh, motion sick. Yeah. This is 650, Roman 9 right. Probably take a while. <laughs> 9 right, clear for the option, 650. Good. Oh, you, you do get a little motion sick? No. Oh, good. Okay, good. No. <laughs> it, eventually, I probably would. I mean, I, I have I, bar bags. If needed, you let me know that for No, I'm, I'm all right. <laughs> good. Bucky 465, contact Orlando departures. Yeah. Contact Orlando departures. Yeah, drop down a little bit. Yeah. Oh. Oh, Come on. yeah. Come on. Good. And since you already lost a little altitude, about 300 feet, you can just keep, keep this level instead. Yeah. Yeah. While you're slowing right. Clear for the option. Clear for the option, 9 or right, number 2, this is Tauberry, 9, Papa Julie. Oh. See, Cessnas, you almost have to uh, kind of angle your way into the runway because you can't see that thing as soon as that wing dips. Yeah, once that wing dips. Got to get it into your front window. Yeah, before you're not seeing it. Michael, Fifth Tire Roger, full short, row it out right for landing traffic. Holding short, nine right, said Michael. Great job lining yourself, though. You're very good at keeping yourself center coming down, and that helps a ton on a windy day. Oh, my. That's all right. Good. Good observation. So what can you do? Pulling some power Good. out, Pull letting the nose come down. Watch that speed. Sheriff two. Yeah, there you go. Sheriff one. Sheriff one, uh, same there. Sheriff one, six miles to the west, flight right northwest. Established. Uh, I'd like to come inbound for uh, nine center. Sheriff one, Roger. Uh, make sure it didn't run, nine or center. Just floor it. Nine or center, and then we'll terminate to the sheriff. Sheriff Hold one. It. Beautiful. All right, go for it. Yeah. Sheriff, one uh, runway nine or center, clear low approach, and then uh, landing at the ramp will be at your own risk. Right, Sheriff, one, Roger, clear for that bump. Two, yeah, yep. center, starting to move me. Yeah, a little center. left aileron. Sheriff, one. Good. Sorry, I'll get it one of these days. You'll be ready for a good nap after this flight. I gotta go back to work. Ah, uh, well, same. <laughs> I guess I'm at work. <laughs> it's so different though when you fly these over and over compared to, I mean, you know, it's tiring as an instructor, but actually fighting the winds is so much more tiring. How many have we done? That is five landings. Five. And that's about one hour.
But you tell me, you're doing great. We can keep going, keep hitting them. Yeah, I'm fine right now. Yeah, good. It's great practice. Just consistency is what it's all about, too. And now you're going to love morning days when it's winds calm. You're going to be like, this is too easy. Right. <laughs> I don't have to fight the plane. Yeah. That'd be a nine there, Papa Julius. See you make the full stop there. Uh, just check the rest of the year with me. Take care. I'm Papa Julius. Oh, oh. Curious, five, six, that was a bald eagle. Runway, was it? Runway, and right, clear for takeout, fly, runway. Was it really? Yeah, that was a bald eagle. What? Yeah. Oh my gosh. I, I, saw, I thought I saw him earlier. I wasn't exactly well, sure if that was a ball, but that was definitely a bald eagle. Big white head. Oh man, now I'm gonna have to pay attention and hope he stays. Well, not in front of the plane, but maybe near the plane. Near. Yeah, not too near, though. Preferably down below, right? 